Yo guys, what's up? I am back like 98 degrees in NSYNC. Old guy doing young guy things. Uh, I'm gonna be doing an unboxing today. And uh, I, I actually don't even know what I'm unboxing. Well, I know what I'm unboxing, but I don't know what it's called. Give me one second. Um, it's called the Evercade EXP. It's a retro gaming device. It's a handheld gaming device. And I recently got back from Japan. And when I was there, I became obsessed with two things. Owning a camera that looked retro. <laughs> and retro gaming. Uh, Japan was amazing. I have another channel where I vlog. I'm going to be doing a series of vlogs, so go check it out if you have a chance. I'm going to put it on the link below. But uh, today I'm going to be opening up the uh, Evercade. Now this thing came out a few months ago, so I'm totally late to the game, but it's new to me. And when I saw it, I got super excited, uh, especially when uh, we considered Amazon Prime deals. Uh, just concluded and this was on sale. So I got this uh, at, a, at a really good discount. I'm gonna be unboxing it Anyway, I, I tend to talk too much. So I'm, I'm trying not to do that as much So let's just cut to it. All right, I'm gonna unbox it and I'm gonna give you my first impressions of it Looks like this uh, Pretty weighty I want to get back into developing this channel, but I want to do it like um, a bit different. I want to start streaming artwork and like unboxings and stuff like that because really I think this channel isn't always about art. It's about nerd culture. Uh, it's like figurines, games, comics, things like that. Artwork, of course. The thing with me is that I, um, I don't love art as much as I used to. I know it sucks to say that because it's become my job. And usually when something becomes your job, it's not quite that you fall out of love with it. It just becomes an obligation. And the last thing you want to do at the end of the day is draw more. All right, anyways, it's this one here. It's the, uh, with games from Capcom. That's what sold me on it as well. Because uh, I love Capcom. I love Street Fighter. And I just love everything. Capcom, Mega Man, Ghouls and Ghosts. Actually, let's look at the back right now. What does it come with? So this includes Street Fighter. Um, I see Ghouls and Ghosts on here. Ghosts and Goblins or whatever like that. Oh, it's Ghouls and Ghosts. Uh, Final Fight, 1942, uh, Captain Commando, like all amazing games. And it comes with an Irem cartridge as well with six games. So the Capcom collection includes six, uh, 18 games. And there's another cartridge in there with six additional games. R-Type, uh, which I loved. Battle Chopper, I don't know what that is. And a bunch of other stuff that I don't know. Um, yeah. Also, the reason why I got this is because I was doing research on this game that I used to play at my cousin's, uh, on my cousin's Genesis called Jairs. I'm pretty sure I'm not saying it right, but I became obsessed with that game, uh, owning it again. And that's what led me to this uh, unit as well, because there's a collection with that game in it. Looks like this. Oh my goodness. It is tiny. It's got a nice weight to it. It does not feel cheap. It's got the, the four shoulder buttons right there. The, the two triggers and, and the two shoulder buttons, I should say. And nothing additional on the back. I guess this is the speaker right there, and this is where the cartridges go in. And if you're old school like me, you love cartridges. It's uh, pretty awesome. And they have these rubber tabs in the back that seem to kind of... They come out. Oh, okay. It's, um, it's just rubber stoppers for the screws. I don't know. That's, that's a weird design. It seems to... It, it, it looks like it's forcing itself out. Like I shouldn't be doing that, but I could easily grab these because they're popping out and yank them out pretty easily. I'm not sure I like that. Or you could just leave them off. That's fine as well. But yeah, initial thoughts. It feels great. I'm going to turn it on right now, see if the uh, has any power. Maybe. Boop. No, no power. Okay. Oh, yep. It says power's on, but nothing on the screen. Maybe because I don't have a cartridge. Oh, there it is. Starting up. I was wrong. Ooh. Whoa, this screen is nice. Evercade EXP. Okay, it's, it's guiding me through the setup process. The battery's half. It's at 50% right now, it looks like. I want to go English, of course. Um, okay, and then it goes into the Wi-Fi connections and stuff like that. But initial thoughts. The screen is a bit small. The console itself is... It's smaller than I thought it would be, but uh, it feels nice. It feels solid. Like there's no rickety movements 
or there's no rickety sounds or anything like that coming from it. You could bend it however you want to. Just as a comparison to the Nintendo. That's how big it is compared to, to the Switch. Very small. Yeah, I can't wait. This actually feels great. This feels better than the Switch. I'm gonna be honest with you. I mean, I think it's because the Switch is um, three units. It breaks apart. And this is one solid unit. It feels really, really strong. Okay, anyway, let's get back into this unboxing. And this is the other cartridge. It comes with the charge cables, USB-C, uh, which is amazing. Uh, and that's what I like about this uh, company as well. They they still do the, uh, what do you call these things? The little um, insert booklets that Nintendo used to do. Oh yeah, and it's got Breath of Fire as well. That kind of sold me on this. Like, I'm so excited to play this, to be honest. Oh man, it's so awesome. Got that. And I kind of went nuts. I bought a few extra games, so I'm going to open those. Tell this thing back up actually I don't know if this is gonna make it onto YouTube it might it might not but I thought I would just do it anyway um, data East collection amazing and this is what I was talking about before a company called renovation they made this game called gyres I'm probably saying it wrong it's probably Jerry's or something <laughs> Ben and Jerry's it's uh, here's how you spell it G A I A R E S how would you say that Gary's <laughs> Gary's mod. No, it's Jires. I think that's how I'm gonna pronounce it anyway But I bought this thing just for that game alone and Valis 3 is on here, too. Oh my god. That's amazing Dino land. I don't know what that is El, El Vento. I remember that but I don't remember what it looks like um, Final zone awesome Granada or Grenada Grenada. I don't know But yeah, it's gonna be sweet and anyway, I'm gonna set this thing up um and then i'll be right back all right i'm back it's super buggy i just relaunched it and i put a cartridge in as well and um i know that this uh there's been a huge complaint about like really really tight cartridges oh my god all right here we go um this cartridge was tight but it, it wasn't it wasn't that bad really impressed with the way this thing feels though it's it's not budging like you can't you can't make it creak if that makes sense all right, let's go. I'm playing Final Fight right now, and I'm not allowed. Okay, there we go. One player. My, my boy Guy. Or Guy. Let's see. I'm, I'm testing the D-pad out right now. Oh, yeah. That looks great, actually. <laughs> not gonna lie. I mean, not the stretchiness of the game, but the scan lines, it, it, it gives it a certain kind of feel to it. You know what I mean? Is it focusing? It's probably not focusing. Yeah. Get off my face. There we go. It looks like that. Pretty sweet, right? But yeah, it's pretty awesome. I would say if you can get on a deal, go for it for sure. Especially if you love retro games. When I was in Japan, uh, yeah, it was amazing. The, the, the retro culture there, the retro gaming culture over there is phenomenal. Uh, everybody loves retro games over there. Well, not everybody. New generation, probably not so much. Kind of like over here. They don't get it. But like, um, if you were born in the 80s, uh, raised in the 90s, you'll totally understand what I mean. But uh, all this for nostalgia, right? It's incredible. Books. What do you call these things? Um, instruction manuals, right? Incredible. Anyway, that's it. I'm going to let this thing charge, and then I will probably start a game of Breath of Fire. my Probably my favorite RPG of back in the day. Anyway, peace out, guys. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.